What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Serial Killer here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, our Gregory got married to Olive and they had a red wedding. They actually killed eight people during the wedding and it was insane. Now I added up all the people Gregory has killed. Here's all of their little coffins, I guess, their little urns, and he's killed 24 people. Now you guys know that this is the series finale of Serial Killer, so this is the last episode. And there is a huge twist that is going to happen in this episode. It will blow all of your minds. You will not believe what's about to happen. A 25th person is going to die. And one of the people that are going to die are right here. One of these two people will be the 25th person killed in the Sims 4 Serial Killer series. Right now, I want you to guess who's going to die by the end of the episode. Will it be Gregory killing Olive? or Olive killing Gregory. Guess in the comment section down below right now, and don't forget to show that like button some love, guys, because this is the final episode of The Sims 4 Serial Killer. So Olive has been watching Gregory for the last few days and living with Gregory now since they've been married. Now, during this time, Gregory's killed some Sims, and he's bragged about all the deaths, and he's shown Olive everything, showed him showed her the tomb with all the graves and and just talked about uh, how he killed everybody he even showed olive all of the pictures on the wall here yes he didn't take pictures of the eight people at the wedding that he murdered but he does have 16 pictures up on the wall showing all the people that he's killed and showing that they were all happy with him at one point in their lives like look at everyone in these pictures is smiling with Gregory because they were having a decent time except this person right here they were burning they were on fire but otherwise Gregory was at one point acquaintances or friends with these people that he's murdered so that's left Olive pretty terrified to live with him yes Olive also likes to see people die and likes to kill people and finds happiness in other people's misery she's kind of messed up like that but she's fearful for her life she's fearful that one day Gregory will want to turn the knife on her and murder her so she feels like she has to do some investigation into what's going on here and maybe find out how Gregory is able to commit all these murders and get away with it. So she figures she's going to go buy the Book of Chaos herself and try to use it and maybe defend herself if she ever needs to. Now, she loves Gregory more than anything and doesn't want to see harm come to him, but she also doesn't want to see herself die, so she wants to have a book of chaos on her body, so that way if anything ever happens, she'd have a way to defend herself against Gregory. So what she's going to do is she's going to read the book of chaos. She wants to see what it's all about. So she's going to sit down, grab a seat, and read this book and see what Gregory's been doing. Uh, so Olive is evil. She just got an evil lesson here, but she's reading the book of chaos and getting a bit of chuckle out of it but she's really curious as to how Gregory has murdered all of these people and she's got some bad feelings right now the more she reads this book the the more and more fear she is gaining inside of her right now she is she's scared for her life because she's living with this man that she loves and she's seen him kill before at the wedding was one of the first times she's seen him kill a lot but she just wants to know all the powers that this book holds and how she could probably get it from Gregory and stop him from possibly killing her now, Gregory doesn't know any of this is happening. He's actually reflecting on his life a little bit and just kind of sad with all the people he's killed. Because, yeah, he looks back at those pictures and sees their smiling faces and knows at one point they were friends. And now he's got less and less friends because he's killed them all. So he has no one to hang out with, no one to go to the gym with, no one to grab a lunch with. And it's making him depressed. He thought killing all these sims would make him feel better and make him feel at home, but it really hasn't. Uh, the romance festival is going on today. It's not something I don't think we're going to partake in because we're trying to get Olive to catch up on the Book of Chaos. The Book of Chaos holds all the secrets to murder. So she has to read this book so she knows what Gregory could possibly throw at her. So and she knows tonight is the night that she will have to kill Gregory Milner and put an end to his terror on the Sims world. He's claimed too many lives and she's afraid her life is next. So tonight, guys, yes, you heard it right. Tonight, the only woman that Gregory ever loved, the only person that Gregory ever got close to, is going to betray him in cold-blooded murder. I know it sounds sad, but it's something that Olive feels like she has to do. She's going to kill the one man that she loves, the man that she said she would commit the rest of her life to, in order to save herself and hopefully save future Sims. So let's continue reading the Book of Chaos. It looks like she's about to get a skill point which I don't know what the skill point is, 
So let's see. I, I'm kind of curious. Is there a skill for the Book of Chaos? Oh, Mischief. Okay, that's cool. So she's learning some Mischief skill. Gregory's still down here crying. I think Gregory has a slight hint of what's possibly about to happen. So I think Gregory's kind of scared here. So what he's going to do is he wants some time alone. But he doesn't want to hurt Olive. He loves her more than anything. But what he's going to do is he's going to get uh, Olive abducted. Because he wants some time alone. Some time to think. Some time to, to mourn the loss of his friends and and just where his future is going to lay. And Olive just got done reading the book and now she's going outside for a walk and something's happening. Olive's being taken. Oh my god. Goodbye, Olive. So now she's gone being abducted by aliens. And Gregory is going to try to plot how he could possibly kill his wife before she could possibly kill him. Things are getting really crazy. So he's going to clean up some of these dishes upstairs. And get the house nice and presentable for her so she feels like nothing is out of the ordinary when she gets back home. She's going to think somehow the craziest thing in her life happened. She got abducted by aliens just going for a stroll. I don't think she knows that Gregory has that power in this book. She hasn't finished reading the whole book of chaos yet, so she doesn't know that you're able to do that. Now, Olive's book of chaos, she actually left on the living room floor over here. So we're going to put that back in her inventory so Gregory doesn't see it. But okay. Now that Gregory's going to go outside and eat a salad, it looks like he's running around a little bit. He, he looks to be in a panic almost. Okay, now he's going to go play some games. There we go, dude. Okay, so Olive is still gone for another good half a day. When she lands, it probably will be late at night, like past 10 p.m. So after that, I think she's going to have to make her move on Gregory. So here we go. Olive is back and it's almost 9 p.m. She doesn't know what happens, but she knows Gregory was somewhat responsible for it. So she's going to freeze Gregory in his tracks before anything more can happen. So she's going to try to use the Book of Chaos for the first time ever and hope she doesn't fail. Because if she does, she, know it, she knows it could mean her life. So we're going to go here and we are going to freeze Gregory. Oh, he's on the computer. We got to get him off that. Okay, so we're going to get him off. We're going to freeze him, Gregory. So she doesn't want to do this to him, but she knows that her life's in danger. Okay, so Gregory is frozen solid now, and Olive has some time to think. She wants to reflect if killing Gregory is the right decision to make in her life. So she's going to reflect over some salad or something. Just have a meal, maybe watch a little bit of TV, and try to think. Does she have what it takes to murder somebody deep inside of her? She's got to dig deep and see if she can actually kill the man she loves. So she's going to watch some TV. Eat some food and think about killing Gregory. Gregory's moving. He's able to counter the freeze spell. She's going to go crack him open. Oh my god. Gregory is walking around frozen solid. Okay. We got to stop this from happening. Because I think Gregory's going to go crazy on her. Okay. Let's crack, her, crack him open. Dude, Gregory. Go outside, dude. You're frozen. Go here, Gregory. Okay, Olive, we got to crack him open. When you have the chance right now, crack him open. Oh, he on thought and he's kissing her. Oh, no. What if he's trying to give her the kiss of death? Olive, you have to act fast. Okay, Olive, we need you to go. And um, how should Gregory die? I have a good idea. Okay. We're going to give Gregory the kiss of death. Because she loves Gregory more than anything. But she knows he has to die. And this is probably the best way for Gregory to go. Okay, so right now we're going to give him the kiss of death. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Gregory is getting the kiss of death, guys. Gregory Milner is getting the kiss of death. And we will be losing a serial killer right now. Gregory Milner might be perishing from the only woman he trusted. The only person he loved has just betrayed him. Gregory Milner, guys, is dying. And he has perished. And she is just drinking water. As Gregory Milner lies dead. Here on the ground. Oh my god. This is a sight to see guys. Okay so Grim is coming. Now Grim is friends with Gregory. So he's probably going to be pretty sad. That his friend is dead. He's done so much work with Gregory over the last few episodes. 24 deaths that Grim has came to help Gregory with. And Olive is just watching. She, she could plead for Gregory. Let's see if it works. She's going to plead. She's changed her mind. Olive can't go through with it. She wants Gregory's life to be spared. 
Gregory Milner is truly gone after Olive's apparent appeal fell on Death's deaf ears. So she's a little sad now. She feels bad that Gregory's dead. She doesn't know why she's done this. All she knows is she has made a grave mistake. She loved Gregory, but now she knows she's safe at least. Okay, well, I guess what we're going to do now is we are going to... Um, let's leave a sugar skull offering. Do we have sugar skulls to leave? Okay, we're going to leave. Success, Olive's gesture of respect has uh, was appreciated. The ancestors have heard her call and sent a day of the dead celebrator to roam the neighborhood. Okay, there we go. There we go. So we gave the sugar skulls. We're going to release Gregory to the spirit world. Once and for all, Gregory will be gone. And now we must move this. Let's put this in our inventory. We're going to have Olive put Gregory down here with all of his friends so Gregory can finally be reunited. And then we want to send Olive down here to send off every single one of Gregory's friends. So we want to release all of them to the spirit world once and for all. So let's do that. Release the spirit world. We want them all to be free because they were all trapped down here with Gregory. Okay, so there's two that are released. That's three that are released. Okay, a lot of these people are already released. Gregory released a few of them because he couldn't take it anymore. Okay, so let's release all of these people. We want them all to have a chance at just living their life and being free. Okay, there we go. They're all being released, guys. Okay, let's release them. No, no, no. We're not going to read anything. Let's release. Okay, we already released them. Let's release them. Release them. We're going to get all these spirits going. Oh my god, all the spirits are leaving, guys. Okay, so let's release all of the guests from the wedding. That's all these people right here in a row of each other, guys. All the people that came to our wedding is are about to be released. And this is so crazy to see all these spirits go. 25 spirits have been released into the, the their afterlife. Oh my god. Okay, so they've released them already. They have been released. Let's release that one to the spirit world. Release them to the spirit world. Okay, is that everyone? Has everyone been released? Yes. Everyone has been released to the spirit world, guys. No more spirits will be down here to hunt these grounds. Olive has done it. She's killed the murderer. And now she is going to be totally free. But she is a widow. And she's going to miss Gregory dearly. Because now she's alone, deceased spouse, so forever alone to live in this cabin that Gregory has built and to live with all the reminders of what Gregory's done and the final fate that she gave to Gregory herself. But guys, I think this is where we're going to end this series. I really hope you guys enjoyed The Sims 4 Serial Killer. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. But get ready because now we have The Sims 4 Billionaire and also The Sims 4 Ranks to Riches here on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, remember to take it easy. Lemon squeezy.